approximately 44% of women who exercise vigorously experience menstrual delays. We know that exercise can have a positive impact on our health. However, strenuous or vigorous exercising can impact a woman's menstrual cycle. The risk to sports women of exercise related menstrual abnormalities and impaired bone health are important and under recognized. So in this video, we are going to talk more about what triggers these menstrual abnormalities. So let's get started. So basically the hypothalamus in your brain acts as a control center for your menstrual cycle. It sends hormonal messages to your pituitary gland and your ovaries, which in turn triggers ovulation. Now, if this communication gets interrupted by something that causes your body stress, like intense exercise or significant weight loss, it impacts your ovulation and delays periods. So the effect on the hypothalamus or the hypothalamic suppression in sports women has a variety of causes, including physical and psychological stress, intense exercise, caloric deficiency or low caloric uh, intake, low body mass and low body fat. In fact, further complications can also lead to stress factors, infertility and low estrogen. Now, estrogen plays a very important role in a female's body and having low levels of this hormone can lead to long term consequences, significant of which is osteoporosis or weak bones. So educating female athletes or women who exercise vigorously about exercise related uh, menstrual abnormalities is extremely important. So making sure that we pr prioritize dietary counseling, stress management, providing proper nutritional support and making sure that there's proper caloric intake uh, to meet the high energy demands and improving their menstrual health. Since bone health can be compromised in female athletes with uh, menstrual dysfunction, it's important to support their bone health by providing bone building minerals, which is extremely important. So basically, uh, it's important to build a lot more awareness on this topic so that we, we understand and take good care of our health. So I hope this video was informative and I'll share the studies to the link in my description in case you want to have a deeper look at these studies and I'll see you in the next video.